this is pretty much how it looks. Hey y'all, it's your girl D-Glock and I'm back with another video. So if you're new to my channel, first of all, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss a thing. But if you're not new, welcome back. As you've seen by the thumbnail and the title, today I will be explaining to you guys how I make my selfie dress that I recently posted on Instagram. If you guys do not follow me or if you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you go ahead over to my Instagram at dglock down below make sure you follow me and on my instagram you'll see the exact picture that i'm talking about in this video again i just want to apologize because it has taken me a long time to get this video out i felt like it would be easier to show you guys how to do things if i didn't necessarily had to have to hold the camera or keep it on my tripod but it is what it is i don't want to wait any longer and a lot of people want to know exactly how i made this dress but before we get into this video, if you want pictures like these, make sure you hit your girl up because I definitely got y'all. But if you're like me and you want to try things for yourself, still watch this whole video because I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step in detail video of how exactly I made this dress. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss a thing. So I first saw this idea on Sweetie. Um, I'm very inspired by Sweetie. I love Sweetie, in case y'all didn't know. Um, and I saw her post this on her Instagram and I was like, oh my God, I saved it. I'm like, I gotta try it. So I looked it up and I'm like, how can I get this done? But if you're like me and you didn't have a Polaroid and you're not about to go buy a Polaroid just for one little photo shoot, here's what you could do. If you look on my dress, you'll see there are a bunch of Polaroid pictures if you have a polaroid that is perfect it's easy for you you just take a picture take selfies with your polaroid cut them out poke holes in it there you go now i don't own a polaroid if you're watching this and you own a polaroid you can skip this step but if you do not own one um i had to make my polaroid pictures from scratch i got my g7x my favorite camera of all time <laughs> i got my g7x and i just took random selfies y'all like i i just had fun with it so i'm over here taking selfies okay and make sure you really have fun with it y'all because you want the pictures well depending on how you want it but i know for me personally i wanted the pictures on my dress to show a lot of personality so get some props have some fun you know put on different outfits that's really going to be the main thing to your photos it's really going to be the dress you really want to make that dress Happen. so once i got my pictures i say i probably took about 30 to 40 pictures now the amount of pictures that you're going to take is going to depend on your size so me personally i'm small and i didn't require that many pictures and i also only covered the front of my body if you want to turn around and take pictures of the back you can just turn the dress around and take pictures of the back but i'm telling you this only because I don't want you guys to go out thinking you need all these pictures to cover a full dress because that is going to be very time consuming, especially if you're starting from scratch like me. Anyway, I took all my pictures once they were done and again, because I don't have a Polaroid and I was taking them on a G7X, it has a completely different effect. So me being comfortable with editing and you know how things should look, I was able to turn my photos into what looks like Polaroid pictures. I just added like a warm tone or however I want it really but the main thing I added some green just to give it that vintage look um, and then once I was done with my pictures and they looked however I wanted them to look I put them on Canva and I put about four pictures to one page and I really spaced it out because if you look at Polaroid pictures you have a little bit of space at the top a little bit of space at the bottom and then you have some space on the side so this part kind of took a little while because I I'm just really like a perfectionist and I wanted to make sure everything was lined up evenly and it really gave that Polaroid effect. So once that part was done, I literally went to my local CVS. You could go to CVS, Walgreens, Staple, like anything that will print pictures for you. And I printed them out. Now this part cost me $30 and it came in this thing here. 
So, like I said, they were 8x10. Oh no, I got 8 of them. So I got 8 8x10 eight pictures and it cost me exactly $27.93. They came in here and then I just took them out and like I said, they are like this big and they just cut it up. And that's when I got all of my pictures like out cut up and squared and everything. Next, I had to order something off of Amazon. So you do need special tools for these. This is not the photo shoot that you just, you're bored in the house. Oh, let me just do this real quick. You may be able to get these same things from Walmart, but let me just show y'all real quick. So this thing right here, this is what's going to put the holes in the corner of your photos. You need to put the holes in the corner so you can have the rings and attach them to each other. So I'll put the link below. This is from Amazon. But again, if you're an arts and crafts type of person and you like doing things like this, then this is definitely for you. If not, and you just want the bomb ass pictures, just hit me up, you know I got y'all. Anyway, also, it comes with these rings. Basically, you need this and this to put the holes in the corner. Y'all get the point. The next thing I ordered, sounds like a lot but i swear it's really not the next thing i ordered were a bunch of keychains then you end up with this and as you can see look this is the thing that makes the holes and then these are the key rings that you can just attach them with so as y'all see it's literally like four simple steps probably three steps if you already have a polaroid but if not it's just as simple as taking your selfies okay editing them giving them that polaroid look putting them on canva or any platform that allows you to lay them out in print um then you print it and then you put it together but this step right here i honestly would say took me about two hours so just so you guys can see with better lighting this is pretty much how it looks and then i took a random ribbon honestly I had everything tying this together I had a ribbon I had a shoelace I had it really didn't matter because you couldn't see it but I took a ribbon and I just tied it around the back so that it could really like fit to my frame and it's not like really boxy and I think I used three of them I used one here one in the middle and then one at the bottom and I tied it up put it around me and that was that also i forgot to mention that i did take about like 30 to 40 pictures i did take extra photos as well because i didn't want to come across any issues when it came down to me cutting and you know putting everything together i didn't want to mess nothing up and then not have any extra photos which that did happen to me i ended up having like three photos i had to throw out but it was okay because i had extra ones so make sure you take enough selfies to have extra photos even if you don't take enough selfies you could print out the same photo twice just in case one of them like something happens to one of them so definitely look out for that as well so aside from the amount of time that it took me to do this um i would definitely recommend but like i said if you're not that type of person who is into like crafts and really just find enjoyment out of doing things like this i would skip it and i would just let someone else do it for you and just enjoy the photos in the end but anyway you guys this is a very quick video i wish i could show you guys in more detail like show y'all you know me putting it on and how exactly i did it but again it's kind of hard because my camera is on a tripod also my camera is about to die so I hope y'all like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Hopefully it was quick, simple, and easy for y'all. But disclaimer, it will be a little time consuming once you get to the part we have to put everything together. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Um, ask me anything. But until then, make sure you guys follow me on all my social media, on my Instagram, my TikTok. And also follow me on my couple's channel if you haven't done it already because that's where the real fun is at. And we just made a new TikTok together, D Glock and D Mac. So without further ado, I'm out of here.